What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trav 2323 TREV2323. Subscribe, like, and share. If you are following along right now, I am teaching myself lithium ion batteries and I am teaching myself uh, solar. I'm not trying to really do an off-grid full solar system for the whole house. I'm trying to do like a backup system, a battery backup. You know how they got portable generators? I'm trying to do a system for a portable generator, which is a battery instead, a battery pack instead that you can run your refrigerator off of and a TV while the power is out. That light that I'm using for this right here is on actually recharge a solar generator, like uh, not solar, uh, a generator battery pack for your phone. We well, have solar ones now also that you can leave outside. If there's no power, you can still charge your phone. You just get a battery power pack with the solar on it. And if there's a power outage or if you're off grid, you just leave that thing in the sun and the solar power generates it. Well, it's the same thing with this. I have some solar panels downstairs and I have a grow watt uh, a power inverter it inverts the solar power and inverts 48 volts into 120 volts so i could use this to power a refrigerator but i don't know how long for so you have to bear with me and stay with me this is a warning 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 about lithium ion batteries these are actually called chem pouches lithium ion chem pouches is what they are all right they could be pretty stable if you treat them right and work with them right. You cannot charge lithium ion batteries. You cannot charge lithium ion batteries unless they have a battery management system on it. If you get raw cells, do not try to charge them unless you have a battery management system and do not skimp on battery management systems. This is a daily BMS, a daily battery management system, 14S, 48 volts, 100 amps. This got a Bluetooth dongle that I could check my batteries to see how they're doing and I could hook them up to a laptop and have it online so I could remotely check it or whatever I want, all right? So let me explain to you something here. Now the dangers with lithium ion, these are 14 batteries, 14 cells right here, 14 batteries. Each one of these is a battery. 3.7 volts is what they're at right now. Actually, they're between 3.6 and 3.9 volts is what all 14 are at. I checked them already, okay? So they ran in series, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now on this side, there is the main negative. I always mark them. That's the main negative, and here is the main positive. So this is negative, positive, but this negative is the main one. So the other side, positive, goes to, and they go up. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Positive, neg negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. There's the main positive right there. That's the main positive coming out. So between this and this, it turned it into 48 volts. It should be around 52 volts, actually, because they're fully charged. Okay, so uh, the dangers of them, if you charge them without a battery management system, if there's nothing to regulate the voltage, lithium ion batteries cannot be overcharged. If you overcharge them, they will ignite. They will explode. They will ignite. Another thing about lithium ion is why I made this plastic cover to go over these batteries right here because I don't want any, this is the top part of the battery. These are actually going in a cooler and there's air vents in the cooler so that could protect the batteries. The coolers will be closed with air vents to make sure nothing damages these batteries. Because if you drop a knife or if you drop a tool and these batteries are out, if you hit these chem pouches, if you hit, if, if it goes through this metal, there's a metal protecting the chem pouch. But if you, if you break those chem pouches, you're in big trouble because the oxygen is going to ignite and start a fire, okay? But this right here is not going to be constantly charged. I mean, constantly on a charger. This right here is going to have this tape down right here. This tape right here is actually called Captain Tape. Cap, Captain, K-A-P-T-O-N. And this is right here. This is for electronics, uh, Captain Tape. And it's it's heat resistant and it's conduct. Uh, I mean it's uh, heat resistant and it don't conduct no electricity. So I actually have these seven cells compressed and taped together, and these seven cells compressed and taped together. So they're 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 individually, but they're together. And then I have them in series. So what I was gonna do right now is I'm taping this down now, so the whole the bottom is protected because it's in the cooler, and now the top will be protected because nothing's going to be able to penetrate this top of this battery if it does it's just if it does it's just going to bounce off now i made the holes in the top for my battery management system the crazy thing about these is pretty cool is these battery battery management systems right here this is a daily one they that they're, they're actually hooked up into each individual positive the copper's the positive 
there's 14 positive batteries positive there's like seven on this side and seven on this side i think are the positives so this right here counts the cells that you have so there's 14 strands so it's going to balance the 14 batteries but you have to put this as this is battery number one this is battery number two you got to line up your batteries towards your you know this is actually the the main negative i'm sorry this is the main negative this is the main positive let me make that make, let me make sure that again let me look at that positive yeah positive on this side so the silver is the, oh, the silver is the positive you see silver is the positive and the copper is the negative okay because i checked that because i know all these batteries are ran right but i always double check so this is the positive side of the battery this is the negative side see the positive is silver the negative is copper i had that backwards positive silver positive positive the batteries even say up and negative so this is negative this is positive okay so that the bms these 14 strings they go to the main negative to ground the system for it to work so it's going to go to the main negative in here and then they give you long enough leads on this daily one to connect to all the positives so i drilled these holes in here so i could put seven of them through here and seven of them through here now as i said this connects to the negative of the battery you know how you got your positive going up and you put a breaker or a fuse on your positive straight from the battery to a breaker or fuse to the grow watt this is in the negative line this battery negative this b negative goes to right here the battery negative but this is going to be four gauge coming out i got the four gauge wire coming four gauge coming out to the b negative and the p negative is I hate to use the term, but this is the power negative. So this right here operates and balances the batteries off of the positive charge with the negative to turn this on, but it's in your main negative line. So if there's any fluctuation, this actually has a heater. I got to drill the hole for that too. This is a heater right here. So it's going to go down into the middle. I want to drop that again. It's going to go down into the middle of the batteries. And then in the middle of the batteries, if it gets too hot, it'll shut the batteries off through the negative line. All right. This right here is the Bluetooth dongle. So it'll actually talk to the uh, to my phone. And this is the USB to talk to the computer. So I got to get this hole a little bit deeper in there. They're all taped at the top. I should have broke the tape off. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I just, all I got to do is actually make this a hole in the center so this could go out. And that right there is to keep an eye on the temperature of the batteries because it feels too hot or too cold it'll shut the batteries off and if this negative is shut off they're not charging anymore bam they're shut off but also these cells shouldn't be out of adjustment these cells should be right close to normal uh, rear, right near the average uh, voltage not over i think it's 4.2 volts if they're at 3.78 right now at 3.79 so I got this will tell me if they're fully charged, if they're not fully charged or, or what I'm looking for here. So I just want to show you this. So I'm going to tape this down right here. But before I go, let's check. Let's check it out. This was the this was actually going to be the, the heading of the video right here. Do we have 48 volts? Let's put this right here. Man. Put this up here. Do we have 48 volts with this battery i'm thinking 52 i'm thinking we're at 52 put this up here this up here can you see that can you see that can you see it now can you see it now okay there you go okay so i'm going to touch the very bottom negative and the very top positive and this right here should read between 48 and 52 we're at 53 volts. You see that? 53 volts. Awesome. 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 So this is my battery. So now I'm going to tape every, tape this cover down because this is my main piece I'm cut. But I'm going to drill the center hole for that heat sensor right there to go through the center hole. And then tape all this down so I could fit feet. So I could fit the heat sensor as far down as it could go. I'm trying to get to around this battery right here. All right, well, let me see if I go right here. Go right here. Um, oh, if it goes in through, hold on, bear with me here. This is where all the I drilled the hole. 
I drilled the hole so all the wires could get down in here. But with the BMS, I could go right in the center right there. So it works. I don't need to drill anything. It goes right in the center of the batteries anyways. All right, so it is done. The BMS is completely hooked up right here, but it's not plugged in right here. I downloaded the daily Smart BMS app. It's 9.30 at nighttime. Smart BMS app right there. I downloaded it. The negative is in there. I used my multimeter and I test from the negative. I actually put the net. My wife held the negative of the multimeter on the negative right here. And then I touched each individual one of these on the inside and it all went up by 3.7 in series. So everything is correct in series and the BMS is correct in series. All this is getting put away right now because I don't want any problems with this BMS at all right now plugged in at 9 30 at night so either way i'm gonna upload i'm gonna work on the video and put all my stuff away and then uh this is, video is going to be uploaded another day connecting the daily smart bms to a 48 volt lg chem pack so there's there's the wiring right there and right in here it's going to get taped in there is the temperature sensor temperature sensors in there and there's 14 batteries in series series talk to you later subscribe like and share